Um, today I'm going to be talking about my wedding binder. So my wedding binder um, is actually this. Um, I'm going to take you through step by step um, what is in here. Um, essentially when I got engaged, um, I'm a freak, so it took me two days um, to have a Pinterest board made and ready, but I was finding that, that it, it wasn't enough, um, and I'm definitely a planner, so I needed a wedding planning binder, um, and I, I wasn't finding any apps that adequately helped me do that, so I came across this pin on Pinterest for how to make a wedding binder, an actual printed out version of a wedding binder, um, and I started uh, kind of looking through different printouts and I found one that I really liked and I'll link it down below um, so uh, Essentially, it's it's just a printed out Planner um, that helps you plan through every single piece of your wedding. So if you want to see what's in this bad boy um, Go ahead and keep watching Okay, so getting into the real meat and potatoes of this video. Um, this is my binder. It just has a cover page. It has a side panel because I'm an organization freak um, and that date is wrong and it's really bothering me and I have to change it. Um, when I first set the binder up, I just I thought that I was going to put the year that I was thinking you were going to have the wedding in um, and then that I would update the date when we actually picked one. So I actually have to change that now. And it even has a back because, again, I'm a freak. Um, <laughs> and I apologize for, you know, whatever quality uh, stuff is happening in this video um, because I'm filming this on my phone right now, um, which really is probably a bad idea. But I'm also, I have to hold it because <laughs> I'm cheap and don't have a tripod. Um, so. Basically, you open my binder up, and you'll see the traditional, like, you have a flap here for any loose papers or anything, and at uh, one point in time I was using that for brochures from the caterer, um, and then I took those out and went through them and got rid of some stuff. Um, and then I have this handy pouch, um, so let's see, what is in here? Okay. So basically there's just a bunch of like pens, pencils, highlighters, um, this is a really cute pen that I got from my dad, I really love this pen. Anyway, um, there's also this sticky note pad, um, whenever I call vendors or um, anybody who's going to be involved in the wedding, the setup, the management, the decor, anything like that, the bridesmaids, all of that, that's what I take notes down on. Um, and then there's also these in here. Because this is obviously a binder, I haven't printed it and like bound anything because that would be like way over at the top. Um, I have these because, you know, obvious reasons, papers fall out, you need a way to put them back in. So that's that's that little pouch. It's really helpful and it's purple, so I like it. It's like a dollar from Walmart. Um, and then I have this. I honestly, I put this in here um, as like a, like a last minute, what else can I stick in here? <laughs> um, but I did, it, it originally did have a purpose. It hasn't been used for that purpose yet. Our wedding is not going to be for... Um, about another year so there's not really any receipts in here but that was its original purpose was to hold receipts from vendors and um, any other loose little papers like um, wallet size pictures that I wanted to keep maybe I do have a bunch of these left so there's, it's really versatile I can use it for pretty much anything but its original purpose was receipts and obviously I have none so <laughs> Moving along, um, here are the different tabs that I have in here. The first one is the timeline, um, which I used, just just to mention this before I get into it, I used um, printouts. I found them on Pinterest and I will link the post, the pin, below if I can find it again. Um, but I used printouts specifically for wedding planning. Um, and then I 
printed them all out on paper, uh, hole punched them, and stuck them in the corresponding tabs. So anyway, my first tab is the timeline or to-do tab. And this is just a timeline of what I should be doing for the wedding and when. So this is that page and these are the things that I've done. It's not color coded, it's just this is the highlighter that I used at that time on that day. Um, so I have done quite a few of these things but I need to get back on it because as you can see we're actually we're actually at 11 months to go. Wow! We have less than a year. Um, <laughs> We are actually at 11 months to go and I still have things that I need to do from 12 months to go. A bunch of things that I have to do and the timeline is broken up. Um, it's a uh, page by page kind of thing. Um, so it's it goes right all the way down to the day before the wedding. And then the printout that I used actually gives me the wedding day timeline. <laughs> and this is just a breakdown of everything that needs to happen on that day. Um, so. If I wanted to be crazy and try and follow this myself as the bride on that day, I could. Or I could give this to a family member or the maid of honor or something, and that person could keep track and make sure that every single one of these things has gotten done. Um, and I guess if it hasn't gotten done, there are lines underneath here, underneath of each thing, for you to put like the contact person of who would, like who you would contact if it hadn't been done yet, that kind of thing. Um, and then it's very helpful. It gives you a little, don't forget, your wedding dress first and foremost. <laughs> um, so it's very helpful that I have this as well. I can look through and see, make sure that I have everything. And actually, I feel like this is something that I need to do the night before. Go through here and make sure that everything is laid out where it needs to be the night before the wedding. There's a to-do list. Um, this is just where I can jot down any things I need to do. And apparently I have some things. This is the wedding party. I'm not going to show this too much because uh, there are numbers and things on here, but I'll show you a blank section of it. This is the section for the flower girl, and <laughs> we haven't figured it out yet. Um, but yeah, so the uh, this page, it, it's pretty much the same for every section. So there's the ring bearer, there's groomsmen, there's bridesmaids, and then there's the flower girl. There's also maid of honor and um, best man at the top. And now they also give you a vendor contact list. So once I find out who's making my cake, I can put their contact information here. The caterer, I actually need to put this down um, because this and the reception venue, I actually already have these booked and they're the same person. <laughs> um, so I need to write that down. And then there is a bunch of other, you know, things that I can write in when the time comes when I have that information. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next tab is budgeting. So it breaks it down by what all is going to be happening at your wedding and what kinds of things you'll need to buy for your wedding. So there's um, like the ceremony, the location fee, the efficient fee, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's the reception. So it gives you a venue fee. Um, you have to write down your estimated costs for tents and everything. So it, it breaks it all up. There's food and drink. If I can turn the page. Photo and video, music, stationery, wow, that's a lot of stationery, um, the wedding cake, flowers and decor, gifts and favors, and wedding attire, and the honeymoon. And then you, there's a spot for you to write in other costs, anything else that you feel like needs to be on there but isn't. Um, so basically it's broken down by what you think your cost is going to be for each thing, um, how much your deposit was, and the date that you paid it on, and then what balance is due um, at the time of the wedding or after the wedding or anything like that, and the date that you pay that on. The next tab is the ceremony, and none of this is filled in either. <laughs> I feel like I need to get back to this, but once school started, I just didn't really do any of this stuff. Anyway, this is the ceremony worksheet, so you can break down where it's being held, um, the contact information for that, and then notes about the place, so anything you want to remember about your ceremony venue, um, notes that you took maybe while you were meeting with uh, someone for the tour, something like that. Um, and then there's the ceremony worksheet, so the processional order, who is walking out when, um, the recessional order, who's walking back and when, um, ceremony parts so the different parts of the ceremony so if you're going to have a song if you're going to have um you know if there's a specific traditional ceremony you want to follow out of a book that kind of thing 
And then you have the efficient worksheet and we actually, I think, know, I, I think we know who we want our efficient to be. We just haven't asked them yet. Um, so there's nothing on the sheet either, um, but this would be the contact information. Again, any notes you want to fill out um, when you have the meeting with your official or anything like that. Next tab is the reception. This is the reception worksheet. A lot of these are very repetitive. They just change the, the, the names here. And then there is the rental worksheet. Again, this is all under the reception tab because this is the kind of stuff that you'd be renting for the reception, like tents if it's outside. Um, different kinds of lighting, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. There is another uh, rental worksheet, so things like renting chairs, renting the china, which actually our caterer provides all of the china flatware, glassware, and linens, actually. So I, this I won't have to fill out um, that, I'm, that I'm renting. And then there's the menu, and I do actually need to fill this out. I've already talked with my caterer about what I want, so um, I can fill this out and know exactly what my guests can choose from. And then there's the music, sorry, musicians DJ work worksheet. Ugh, I really can't talk today. Basically, again, contact information, notes, and I need to fill that in because I also have a DJ. Um, and it's it's actually a member of my church family and he's doing it for us for free um, So that's that's really exciting and I'm really thankful for him And then we have the music worksheet so everything you want to play during the ceremony the cocktail hour and the reception There's a play do not playlist, which I think is really cool um, So it's our song suggestions the song suggestions from the wedding party and then songs that we do not want played which I thought was really cool You also have a cake worksheet again contact information, notes about the cake, notes about the baker, all of that, and I can fill that out when I know who's doing my cake. Um, and I actually, this is another helpful thing, um, I actually printed out pictures of what I want the reception hall to look like. This is actually the reception hall that we are going with, I think, yeah. Um, and this is, uh, this is like the way that it, it's it's pictures from their gallery. It's kind of how other people have had their weddings in the past. Um, so another helpful tip if you have a wedding binder or you want to start one is to print out stuff like this. Like use pictures as visual aids to help you kind of dream up your your day. The next tab is attire and beauty. Basically, that just means what we're going to wear, what we're going to look like. So this is my attire. I'm not writing down any of this just yet. I do have most of, well, not most, actually. <laughs> um, I do have my dress, so I can fill that in from here. Um, but they also give you spaces for um, shoes that you want to wear, your veil, headpiece, gloves, wrap, or shawl, um, and then the deposits and everything for that. They also give you fitting schedules, so if you need to make alterations, you have a schedule to do that. They also let you fill out what your bridesmaids are going to wear. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this because I'm not sure what my bridesmaids are going to be wearing yet. <laughs> and the beauty worksheet. So it uh, has a space for you to fill out your hairstylist's information and notes about them. The next tab is phot uh, photographs. So this is the photographer worksheet, basically same thing. Um, we don't have a photographer yet, we need to get on that. <laughs> this is the photo worksheet, so this is every photo that you might want taken. And you can have your, you can give this to your photographer and you can highlight the ones that you actually want or you can cross out the ones you don't want and you can give this to your photographer and make sure that they know what to expect on your wedding day. Um, and then this is the videographer worksheet. I'm not sure that we are going to have someone videotape our wedding. I, it's not come up in conversation with Ben yet, so I, I really don't know what we're going to do, um, if, if this is going to be a thing or not, but there is a space for that. And now we come to the last three tabs. So the first one of these is decor. Um, so they give you a worksheet to input information about your florist. And then, and again, I, I printed out some things that I think were really cool from Pinterest. 
The next tab is the honeymoon, and we have not figured this out yet. This is a major point of contention because I just we have we have no idea what we want to do. But they give you a slot for if you're going on a destination sorry destination honeymoon, like if you are um, actually going out to like out of the country or something like that, um, or across the country. You have air travel. Um, if you have a transfer flight, return flight, transfer flight, and then the total cost of that. Um, you also have ground transportation to the airport, um, so if you're renting a limo from your ceremony site, your reception site, something like that. Um, accommodations for your honeymoon, like what hotel or anything you're staying in. Reservations at restaurants, that kind of thing. But we have no idea what we're doing yet. <laughs> And then the last tab I have labeled miscellaneous just because I don't know where this stuff should go. But essentially, like, this is my uh, reception hall. We're doing it at the Christiana Fire Company Memorial Hall. It is really pretty, as you saw from those pictures. Um, so we're doing it there. And then they give us a sheet for all the pricing. And then this is the um, wedding package. It's the, it's the brochure from the caterer. Um, to give you kind of an idea of what you can do with that. This is the guest list, so I'm not going to show that. <laughs> this is the transportation worksheet. So any guests you have coming from far away, you know that you can come here and um, there's a spot for you to uh, offer them transportation. Next we have the registry worksheet. We do have a registry. I have a registry set up. I think I have one at Target and I have one at Boscov's. But they give you slots for four different stores that you can have a registry at. Um, you, obviously you can have more than that. I mean if you wanted to copy this sheet and, and have like eight registries that's fine. I, you do you. I'm not going to judge but um, <laughs> uh, this is everything that they suggest you should have um, on your registry. This is a lot of stuff. It actually is overwhelming just to look at this. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, they also have the stationary worksheet which I I really, I'm assuming this is like invitations, um, RSVP cards, save the dates, that kind of thing. I actually might be doing those myself. <laughs> I don't know yet. We're thinking about it. I'm, I'm shopping around for some invitations, but I'm seeing some that, I mean, I could do that myself and not pay that much money. Um, so we're thinking about that. And then there is a space for emergency kits. I think this is possibly the coolest page out of the entire binder. Like it gives you, um, you can, like it says for the bride and for the groom. So you could give this page, you can make a copy of it and give one to your bride, your, sorry, your maid of honor and the other to your best man. And that way they know exactly what they need to have in their bag or exactly what you need to have in your bag or in your hotel room the day of or whatever so that... Um, if there is an emergency, you know, they can have different people carrying these different things, which I think is really cool. And then in the back flap, I just have, again, some more brochures and stuff that I haven't gone through yet. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, this wedding binder is not complete. <laughs> I need to start planning again. Um, uh, once school started, I, I, didn't, I didn't plan the wedding hardly at all. Um, and that's just because I was so busy doing other things. So, but now that it's the summertime and our wedding is less than a year away, which is weird, um, I definitely need to get back into the binder and into planning, which I think I'm gonna maybe go do right now. So, <laughs> um, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you on Sunday for another blog post.